stuff. Apparently mail is still moving, uh, even though there's a strike going on, which I am thankful for. Um, and thankful for the postal workers and yeah, all they do. But uh, yeah, um, got a few things to open here. And then we're going to talk about some stuff. I'm just going to go over basically I realized this microphone might not be the one that's picking it up. Is it? Should have thought of that before. It's just... Switch it over, you probably couldn't hear me. Now you can probably hear me a lot better. Anywho. Um, yeah. So. Open some packages. Let's see what we got. An adapter. I think this is a power supply. I'm guessing it's 12.6 volt power supply. It simply says adapter. It's 12.6 volt 2 amp power supply for a 3S lithium ion battery configuration. Let's see if that is the case. Music doesn't need to be this loud. And it is a 12.6 volt 2 amp lithium ion battery charger. It's almost like I know what I ordered. And this should be a power supply for something like a Technicolor Triangle, something like one of these battery powered things, or whatever other design that runs on the 12.6 volt system, which I think I like now. 8.4 doesn't seem to last as long for as many batteries as you use, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, but yes, that is that. That's kind of fun. So I can, uh, I have another charger for that one. I just it means I can make more, and then possibly let go of some. Um, but yeah, I gotta move away, move past just making prototypes into something else. So this is. SP8266 Wi Fi enabled programmable mic controller. And this is a really small one. It seems smaller than the others. That's really cool. It's like super small. Let's see this. It's like miniaturized. These updated versions are just smaller. Like this can fit in that. That is so cool. Right on. Well, that's cool. I guess I should put that with, with this, these ones, because it makes sense. And a few of those to work with to make more battery-powered lights, which is awesome, because I'm stoked on making more battery-powered lights, because people seem to really like the battery-powered ones. Oh, and here's a antenna. It's either for this thing or for another thing. And this is like another one of those sort of ESP266 things, and that's the antenna for it. So. Try and leave that together. I also have another antenna somewhere. Cool. Stoked on that. It's a different type. A couple new different types that I'm not familiar with. So it's good to try different varieties. And let us see what else shall be. This one, go there. DC power socket. The weird thing is, is it feels like solder, but it also feels like, oh, there's other things in there. So it's solder and the DC power socket. So it's funny, I was like, close like literally this close to getting to the end of the solder I mean it's like a maybe four inches three three inches or something of solder left on the roll which is several feet I'm sure and 
then, just in time, this came, which is like a big roll of the silver solder stuff. Different color roll, but it's the same stuff, I'm pretty sure. And uh, so it came just in time. And now, just in time after that, as well, Now we've got another thing of solder. So, I am now officially stocked up on solder for a while. Which is super cool! Because this is stuff that I go through. And so are these things. Although this is a different variety. This is a PCB mount style of uh, barrel jack. Let's see. I'm gonna get more light on there subject right here, barrel jack that puts mounts into a pre printed circuit border. You could use perf board, I think. And uh, yeah, just allows you to connect a barrel connector. So I may start using those in circuit board designs, I don't know. But yes, good fun. charger and I'm gonna guess by the feel of it it's a 8.4 volt I'm gonna say 1 amp but it could also be a 2 amp charger 4 volts and all it says is the charger and we'll see if it is I got I guess the last charger properly and I ordered a few different types so this is 8.4 1 amp Oh, 12.6 one amp. Okay, well that's good. So now we've got another one of those, just a little less oomph in this charger, also less cost. So maybe that could be an option for people who don't need the full two amps or a certain model of lights. So that's good. We've got a couple power supplies and some Wi-Fi enabled programmable microcontrollers and Chargers, and yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Just go fire. This goes recycle. And what else? What else? What else? Well, there is something else here, and it's just finished its task. I'm really stoked on this thing. Plug it in so I can... Really stoked on this thing. Just got it in. Um, found it on the internet, it's like this super ruggedized laptop, um, yeah, it's kind of cool, it's like, I've never really seen anything like it, um, let's just go, please restart, I'm just gonna close and restart later, and then I'm gonna shut down. I just installed Ubuntu Studio on a partition of a solid state drive that I threw in there. And yeah, it's a pretty sweet system. It's like it's like, it's like a, a ruggedized laptop. Like they like tried to make it all rugged like and like put a handle on it. Which is kinda weird. Um what I really like about it, that they did, is this is, a, they put um, a VGA port on it, so one VGA port, which is good for outputting to standard video devices, old ones, new ones, or medium age ones, this one, I also like is there's a USB port on the back right next to the power, and they've got these nice covers too, and 
on the side, there's two, and it's a USB 3 port on the back, and then on the side, there's two USB 3 ports on the side, and then a eSATA USB port, and then a FireWire, which is really cool to have all those sorts of connection options. And there's something else there, I think that's an SD card here, Wi-Fi switch. And then it also has HDMI, so it's got two standard video output connectors, and I'm pretty sure you could have both of them going and the laptop screen at the same time. So that's kind of a really handy feature for doing video art, so I can have two projectors going and be controlling them from the laptop. Um, and yeah, so I'm really stoked on that, because I haven't had a proper laptop to run visuals in a long time, and I've been lugging desktop computers around and like trying to ride share and like have all this gear with like a fucking big clunky desktop computer and I really like all I need is something like a laptop that's got decent graphics and it's powerful enough. That's the other thing that I was looking for was decent graphics and I did research this one has a G4730 M I believe in it and it just cuts in on the line with the features that I needed. It needs I wanted to have X264 hardware encoding to do live streaming and on-the-fly video encoding. Um, and this graphics uh, chipset supports that, um, and I couldn't find any others in the price range that did, you know. Um, and yeah, so I'm really stoked on that. It, uh, yeah, it's just such a unique thing. Like, I've never really seen it. Like, I've seen the Panasonic Tough books, but this is something different, and like, it's just like, kind of ruggedized and cool. And I'm really happy with it so far. I've installed a solid state drive in there and it's pretty zippy. I cloned over uh, my existing Ubuntu 16.04 installation with everything that I've got all going, all ready on the desktop. Um, and so I just cloned that hard drive over to this uh, solid state drive. And it worked pretty good. I had to do some tweaking to like the boot up time a little better and everything. Um, and I, I still feel like it could be faster, but it's pretty zippy. Um, so I also partitioned it so the drive is pretty much in half. Uh, so I got uh, Ubuntu Studio on the other partition. Um, and I just did a fresh install of Ubuntu Studio 18.04. So I hope to be able to move towards that as my main operating system. It's just uh, there's some programs that I have to get going on there uh, to do visuals um, that I currently don't have going on there. But how about we check it out? I'm gonna boot up, and uh, I haven't done this yet. I wanted to time how long it takes to to load the Ubuntu Studio. So. Let's just pull up a timer here. Well, maybe I did. There's 15 seconds there. I think that's what I did, but I'd be curious to verify that. So what I'm going to do is press enter and play at the same time, and I'll start timing. And there it goes. Just seven seconds, nine seconds. So it was like actually like 12 seconds to boot into Ubuntu Studio. I'm pretty happy with that. So like, good boot time. And then yeah, it had all the features that I wanted and it works really well, except for a couple things. Um, I noticed the webcam does not work, which is kind of a, that's too bad. I'm not super concerned. I haven't like dug into it just yet. Um, I sent a message to the seller, see if they know anything about it. Maybe there is no webcam and this is just the spot for it, but I suspect there's a cable that's just unplugged inside. And so it's probably just gonna be a matter of opening it up and finding where that cable's unplugged and then plug it in. I hope anyways, it's that simple or something else that I missed, but. Yeah, I mean, otherwise I can just plug an external head webcam in, I'm not too concerned. But yeah, um, I'm totally super stoked on this, because it's going to allow me to do video projection art and lighting um, out of my backpack, which is and it's a lot easier to hitchhike with this 
or try and ride share or whatever, convince a friend to give me a ride and come to a festival or something or a party um, with this than a desktop computer. It's just, I think it'll be much more practical. And it looks like it's up to the task and it's all solid and rugged and ready. I'm stoked on it. So yeah, I could go on for days about how excited I am about this thing, but uh, there's other things I'm excited about. Um, like, let's just see, put this aside for now. What else am I excited about? Oh yeah, um, makerspace stuff. I am planning on hosting a meeting or holding a meeting and then it will be hosted at Rise Again Boutique in Caslow here and basically the meeting will be about trying to start a not-for-profit organization to support the um, uh, a, a makerspace in Caslow um, and so that's kind of the, one of the first steps that I'd like I think would should would be good to do I will open up the us up to funding options and grants and help and exposure to you know to, to really start and support a makerspace, um, which I've heard is no small endeavor, but I've also heard that it's really really worth it. So I am stoked to get the ball rolling on that, and that's going to be held again at uh, Rise Again Boutique in Caslow on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Um, and I hope to see any Caslo locals, local yokels uh, who are interested in making stuff, uh, building stuff, or even just, uh, just interested in checking it out. And, yeah. Um, that, uh, yeah, I hope to see anyone who's interested coming out. But uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about that makerspace thing, and oh yeah, also um, I'm going to be checking out some other makerspaces, uh, and uh, Salmon Arm, I'm thinking of checking out a makerspace, and in Kamloops, the one in Kamloops looks really cool. Um, I almost want to like pull it up on the interwebs just to like show how cool it looks. Let's just see, side screen little cam, is that going to do it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so, let's go on to the interwebs and check out the Camloops makerspace. It's cool. I think it's cool. I think these guys are like doing cool stuff. And I'm really stoked about what they're doing and I want to like check it out and be a part of it. And yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna go check out their open night and see what they're all about, meet the people, and see if I can get involved there. And they are totally cool. They are a nonprofit society dedicated to serving the creative community in the Thompson Nicola region. Our goal is to establish and operate a space in Kamloops where hobbyists, inventors, artists, and innovative people from all walks of life can come together and share their enthusiasm and knowledge and also give you access to fucking all this shit a wicked kitchen a lounge hack room uh electronics lab metal shop wood shop clay and kiln room design lab craftorium like they just went all out and they got work to host workshops on using the tools and it's just member run it's totally accessible the weird thing is is I swear I checked just the other day and it said that keyholder membership was $55 per month and they've upped it to 75 but that's totally totally super fucking reasonable for what you get like 24 hour access 7 access to the building but some limit of course they're gonna have to have some limitations, but like that's fucking awesome Be stoked on that and then a like, 25 per month for additional family members. That's kind of cool You can have your I can have my mom come out and check it out. Maybe 
I don't know. <laughs> or, or whatever, maybe. You know, I guess if you were, like, if you had a spouse or kids, that would be, you know, that'd be good. Um, uh, but yeah. It's totally cool. Um, and I'm really excited to check these guys out. I've watched some videos. Um, and they just look like cool community, cool people, and I'm um, stoked to check it out. And... Hey, also found the salmon arm maker space. You live? Yeah, I'm doing a live stream, just kind of video vlog, vlog, vlog and update and. Oh, uh, what is interesting in your life and what you're working on? Yeah, just cause like I like talking about it, and even if nobody watches it, it's still fun to do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, I'm stoked on this stuff, especially this place, uh, this just looks cool, they got like this really funky building, and, like, look at that, it's got like butterflies and stuff on it, and like, it's all colorful, and their costs are totally reasonable, 10 buck drop in, single month 50 bucks, like, uh, so reasonable compared to what I've seen in trail and you know and they've got a computer lab and it says they have CNC in the industrial room which is what I'm really after and there's a course on the first which I think covers CNC but I'm not sure I sent them an email I haven't heard back from them so I'm gonna have to give them a call maybe tomorrow or something just to confirm about that but yeah I'm still check this place out um, I may be able to stay at my grandparents place and check out these couple maker spaces maybe even do a course or two and maybe even prototype a light or two or and maybe even do a run or two of some lights which I'm stoked to just get out there I just want to start you know like actually producing stuff and getting it out there but yes, that is fun stuff, fun stuff. Um, what else, what else? I don't know. I have a couple things listed here. Makerspace, I'm using, and more. Check. Oh, well, I think I basically covered the things I said I was going to talk about. I said come say hi, and nobody actually said hi, but that's okay. It looks like a couple people like, came in and like checked it out for a moment. That's cool. Um, and yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> so, so somebody said hi. Somebody ch talked in the chat. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, but uh, I am so stoked on uh, things. And yeah, that, that, that place, the maker spaces both look awesome the Kamloops one and the uh, salmon arm one and I'm stoked for the possibility of checking them out um, and I'm also stoked for this meeting on Wednesday in Caslow here uh, to hopefully get the ball rolling on these things so yeah it's been a little update of what's going on I hope to start doing more live streaming with um, light building and whatnot um, as things progress but uh, yeah I think I'm gonna be quite busy here for with things for a bit I gotta do major culling I'm gonna like just like get rid of a whole bunch of stuff that I, or rather than I'd rather look at it as like put stuff to use like and I don't necessarily need to be the one to use them these things because I got like a lot of electronics computers and stuff that um, more than I like need, and so I gotta like try and get do something with these things. Maybe I'll sell some things. I'll give some stuff away. Bring some stuff to the electronics recycling, and hopefully I don't have to bring anything to the dump. But maybe I have to bring something to the dump. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of doing that. I listed. Uh, Oh, it's not up there anymore. This big old eMac computer, this old educational Mac. On and I was actually looking there. Like people are selling them for like a hundred bucks on eBay, and then it's like another hundred bucks to ship because the thing's so damn heavy. Um, 
which is kind of crazy to me, so I don't know, I just listed it for 33 and see if anyone local wants it. It would be cool to see if uh, it put to use, you know, and I've got a lot of things like that, you know, and I mean, maybe, you know, maybe there's some collector or something. I don't know, it's just a, you, there's some unique hardware that I got that uh, maybe some people are interested in. A lot of old stuff. I've got some decent, like, stuff that is, like, usable uh, for modern day stuff. I'm going to be putting some laptops together, I think. Um, uh, some low-priced laptops to hopefully, you know, get somebody set up with something that works, but uh, isn't going to cost them an arm and a leg. Um, for somebody who needs that. So yeah, uh, gonna be doing that, getting that sort of stuff together. But uh, yeah. Something in the chat. <laughs> I don't wanna make a space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone does like making things. Well, I, I like making things. Not yeah, I think people do like making things. It's fun. It's rewarding. So yeah, thanks, mom. <laughs> um, I think you're right. I think it's. I think people will enjoy it, and Caslo does seem to be kind of right. So even if we just rent out like a garage or something, you know, to start with, it'll be something. Um, so I'm looking forward to to something, and I think uh, things are happening. And on that note, I think I'm gonna end this. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, uh, yeah, if you're interested in such things, let me know. If you want to collaborate or got any ideas or I don't know, just want to chat, like, I mean, just let me know, I mean, yeah, hit me up. So, thanks for tuning in, and until next awesome time, stay awesome, and have fun. Ciao for now.